hi there, students. A bedsit, a bedsitter, a bed sitting room. Okay, all of these are nouns. A bedsit is a place to live, a room. For example, we are happy to offer this amazing single bedsit situated in a well maintained Victorian building, Camden High Street, London NW1. The property consists of newly refurbished single bedsit with its own kitchen and shared showered room only. Okay, so a bedsit. This is a bedsit. It's a rented room where you've, you've got one room and maybe you've got somewhere to cook, maybe you've got a fridge. Uh, sometimes you even get your own loo in it. But, or your own toilet in it, but normally a bedsit. It's a room in a shared house. Yeah. Um, it, let's see. It's uh, very often a house, and there's a single occupant in each room. And typically, you share the bathroom and probably the kitchen as well. Yeah. Um, it's a, effectively multiple occupation. Um, yeah, and these are quite cheap. In my, in my youth, I have lived in many different bedsits in many different places. Oh, I forgot to say, the bedsit advertised, I think, was £185 a week in London. So, if you actually want to go and live and work in London, um, the first thing you ought to do when you arrive is find yourself a bedsit, somewhere to live. It'll be the probably one of the cheapest ways for you to live, although London rentals are incredibly expensive. You can also call this a bed sitter. Yeah, it's effectively sleeping accommodation and sometimes you're going to have uh, somewhere to cook and, so and somewhere to wash as well in the room. But normally these are shared things. Um, Huh. This area is bed sitter land because it's next to the university or it's near the university. This is a typical place where students live. Yeah, students live in bed in bed sitters. Um, sometimes, very often, a, a bed sitter will have a wash basin, but no, nothing else. Um, yeah, a bed sitter's comf comfortable. You also might rent a bed sit in somebody's house, as in you have uh, one of the use to the the use of one of the bedrooms, which is yours privately, and then you're also allowed to uh, go to the kitchen to cook in the kitchen, and uh, you you use the bathroom as well. And this is a bed sit. Bed sits are really, really common in the UK, um, as I said, particularly for young people. Yeah, they're rented accommodation. Um, and normally these are um, m much uh, smaller, uh, sorry, much cheaper. Yeah, in Australia they might say a flat, a flatette or in the U U United States, an efficiency or single room occupancy or Canada, a bachelor apartment. Yeah, they they use all sorts of uh, uh, nice euphemisms for uh, for bedsit. But this word bedsit, it's particularly British. So uh, talk to any British person and I'm sure they have experience of living alone in a dingy bedsit in some part of the country. Yeah, this is uh, part of student life. So then you go out and enjoy yourself when, when you're outside. Okay, so a bed sit, a bed sitter, a bed sitting room is more formal. It's somewhere where you can, you have your bed and somewhere to sit and you can study. And that's the idea of the phrase bed sit. I would give this a, a word a five in formality. Um, yeah, so you use it anywhere. It, it is what it is. I think bed sitting room may be 6.5 in formality. Yeah. Um, and, and that's, that, that's the idea of a bed sit. So let's see. Bed sit in Ealing. Uh, shower and WC to be shared. 11, 1100 a month. Wow. Um, Sussex Gardens, Paddington, two twenty a week.
Marble Arch, Bryanston Street, £175 a week. Uxbridge Road, Shepherd's Bush, £150 a week. Yeah, um, another one in Marble Arch here, £140 a week. Yeah, so, well, <laughs> they're normally not very good quality. They're normally a bit dingy, they're a bit dark, but, well, it's, it's, what, it's what there is. So, a bedsit. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Bedsit.